everybody. Welcome back to Game Addicts, where we play video games, so you don't have to. In other words, in this gameplay. So, very cool, very excited. And uh, I'm Carlos Charlie, and I'm here with... Hyper Combo Comics from the yeah. Kingpins channel. There you go, man. Thanks you once again for, uh, you know, for coming with me on this journey with this gameplay video. So, I'm truly excited. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, man. Look, like I said, like I was telling you backstage, I did not see this footage of your gameplay, so I'm going in cold. So I'm gonna see. Whoops! Whoops! Whoops. That's what happens when you're live. <laughs> I know, right? It's all good. And we can't even edit that. So I know, you know, right? Background sure. fell, but yeah. Um, you saw that. Going in cold. Uh, looking forward to seeing. And and I haven't played the game in like uh, in a while. So yeah, it'll be a bit of a reintroduction for me. Cool, cool. Glad to hear it. So then that means I have a I have a surprise for you then. Also, I mean, um, what we're trying to do here is that uh since we since episode two just um was shown on Sunday, I mean if you want to scratch that itch on what episode three is gonna be in the video game, I'm guessing this is how episode three is gonna be. So careful, there might be some mild spoilers depending on how close the HBO episode is. But um, if you kind of want to see you know what happens and see how how close the game is to the HBO episode. Please check out this gameplay now. We're going to be talking over it, uh, probably pointing out some key features and stuff like that. So we'll get into it. But before we do that, let's give a shout out to our fellow resident DJ on Instagram, Beats by Monsta. All the music that you hear is by Beats, and his stuff is awesome, as you can see. And it just keeps your head bobbing, and you've been pretty, pretty much chill. And uh, next, let's give a shout out to TNH Horseman. And uh, yeah, reach out to Santi Rude, Something Wong, Deanime, etc., and Glenn. They have a lot of cool stuff online, so check out their social media. A lot of awesome stuff. And also, a shout out to our sponsors. Make sure you use code Nirvana14 for 30 days of a limited cover price for only 99 cents. You can't beat 99 cents. It's less than a dollar. What can I say? And also... Use code TNH10 for 10% off your purchase over at Bird City Comics. If you haven't checked that out, please check it out now and use that code. Trust me, you won't regret it. So from that, let's uh all right, let's see what we have. Let's see here. First, let's check our oh our comments. Hey, JT Key Comics. He's That's here, he's always is always here early so that's pretty cool man thank you so much for showing up and also alonzo hey, tiger yeah. <laughs> yeah. you keep it the poster, yeah, poster right took a took a whooping <laughs> that's cool and also shout out to lucy mama comics hey how you doing thank you so much for joining us all right let's see if we could do this and hello to everybody so let's see this and play let's see what we have here Yeah, so basically, uh, so, um, right here, um, you're gonna find out that Ellie has, hasn't actually been in the forest before, even in the show. She's like, Wow, I'm outside. You're gonna see here that she's never seen greenery before, really. Yeah, because she's been in her whole life in the QZ. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And this starts off right after they, uh, they blow up the capital city in HBO. So they run from, well, in the, in the game, they run from Fedra and they run here to the forest. They want to go see a friend named, uh, named Bill. Who supposedly will have a car for them so that's where they're going right now yeah that was one main difference between that previous episode like it wasn't the infected that was going after them it was fedra yeah it was fedra exactly and the thing is this bill character he pretty much he lives in the town which he protects he pretty much owns this town so that's like that's a very like crazy thought and you'll see how he has his town rigged up and stuff so it's pretty cool. dude, dude just watching this makes me now want to buy the remastered version because i don't think it, like i mean it was still nice in the ps4 version but i think they really did it up here there we go. oh they did yeah they did you guys remember this part i mean we do a lot of these like walking on the wooden board oh uh -huh, exactly where do you usually meet them and that's his town right there mm. different places never been here have you i know this is where he lives but no i ain't never been here personally. i don't blame him because it's not a welcoming area so it's not he's not the type of guy you would drop by and say hi really yeah he is. you definitely want to rsvp in this case yeah exactly you can see right here it shows like you know the it, the ambiance of the town the, like, honestly naughty dog really kills it with these kind of set pieces mm-hmm 
And also, you see how he has. If everything will be trapped in this town. Be one of Bill's traps. And if you notice in the preview of ne the next show, you're going to see him setting up traps for the the hunters. I think, right? Mm -hmm. or the otters or the people that are going to come for the stuff. Well, he helped us smuggle stuff into the city. He's, he knows how to find things. Well, let's hope we don't blow up trying to find him. Hey, what's up, Chitlins, uh, Greens, and Cornbread? Hello, hello, yippa. Hey, is Bill good with a bow? I reckon he is. Again, you, you loot wherever possible, whether it's be a dead body or a drawer. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, right here is like finders keepers. There's no like like finding a lost and found and putting these items in. No. <laughs> Pretty That's much you it, take it. it. Like, like you could speed through this game for sure, but honestly, it pays to kind of really explore every nook and cranny. Exactly. It does. Especially for resources in this game. So and right there, you find your first actual bow in the game. So I wonder if he's going to use a bow and arrow in the uh, HBO show. I hope he does. I'll be honest. I, I'm not too big of a fan on using the bow in the game. I, 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 was, I was always more of a gun guy. No, guns are good. Guns are straight projectiles. I, I do I do believe yeah. that. But the thing is, if you get any body shots, it's a one-hit kill. So it's That's like you got to learn, learn how to arc it, like right here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's... But you're right, though, because usually the enemies that, that attack you are going head on, and it's really hard to just, like, if you're getting a bow To out. really get that precision, yeah, exactly. Exactly, so I feel that. Get there. You let me do the talking. You See, right, right now he's describing how Bill is. He's like, don't talk to him. Don't look at him in the eyes, because he's not a nice person. Yeah, he hates strangers. Bill's a good guy. He just definitely needs some time warming up to you, that's all. And who's gonna? Who, what's the actor's name again? That's gonna play him on the show? Uh, Nick Offerman from Parks Nick and Offerman. Rec. Oh, I can't wait to see this part. Mm -hmm. There's another trap right there. I don't know if you could see it. That wire. Uh, oh, you could yeah, yeah. you could barely see it, and that's like a one hit kill if you if you step over it. So yeah, they they really rigged this place up. Yeah, I just really want to know how they do it on the show. Hi, Alonzo. You hear that? Yeah. That's, that's, that's one good thing about arrows. You could reuse them over and over again. You have to, man. Right here is like, you, you can't just go buy product. You got to reuse them. So, yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, because those bullets, once once you're using them, they're done. Mm -hmm. All right, watch your step. And there's the traps. You got to set them off. Man, I bet that would, you know, make anybody angry you're setting off their traps when, you know, this should be useful for something else. Yeah, because clearly they're in place for, to ward <laughs> off danger, and, and you're just messing the whole thing up. <laughs> you're throwing bricks at him, right? I know. All right, now speaking of traps, got to check this out. Come on. Uh, th I remember God, this, I hate this, this I part. I, 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 <laughs> I yeah. hate this part. Especially if you hate Vertigo. Yeah. Gonna build stupid traps. So. There. That fridge, it looks like that's a counterweight. Okay. It's just imagine aiming upside down. I just can't even picture oh, myself. Oh, dude. I remember actually dying a couple of times in this in this part. Because, yeah. yeah for that very reason you just mentioned. It, it, mm -hmm. It's it's kind of disorienting, to be honest. Exactly. It is. It really is. Your world is definitely upside down. And you can just hear him off in the distance. Just the anxiety factor. Yeah, this is this this thing is it's like you're aiming for the head, but you're upside down. So it's so it's like it's it's like it's like almost like you had to do inverse aiming. Exactly, like right there, like I'm trying to hit him. And at the same time, you have to reload. How do you reload upside down with a revolver? That's, That's true. And the tough. thing is, uh, your bullets also wouldn't arc the way you would expect them to, right? Because you're upside yeah. down. Exactly. And the thing is, there's that hanger right there that I hit sometimes, that metal hook. Yeah, it ricochets off. It, yeah. Well, I you mean, see, I hit the exactly. hook. Exactly. Shout, 
<laughs> Kudos to the physics on this game, because exactly. you know you know that if this was made ten years ago, it just goes right through it. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't even hit that 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 metal hook, and she makes it even worse. Come on, you can do it. It just shows how dangerous this environment is. You have traps and also infected. It's like what? How? I mean, hey, wait. How worse can it get? And correct me if I'm wrong. Like, are you stocked with limited ammo at this point, or in this? portion do they actually give you unlimited in this portion they give you unlimited otherwise i would have died a long time ago I okay that's what i figured out. yeah at least they're fair on that part so yes and meanwhile i gotta protect her she's trying to get me down ah clickers Ooh. oh that must hurt too though <laughs> well at least, at least you made it down yeah this is Ugh, dude. There's no chill in this game. There's no chill. But here's where you see this guy. That's him, that's Offerman. Yeah, that's yeah. That's Bill. Mr. Parks and Rec. Mr. Parks and Rec, yep. He has a gas mask and everything, dude. He looks deadly. Yeah, because in this game they actually deal with spores and they don't deal with the whole tendril situation that they do in, in the TV Exactly. Show. So he won't wear the gas mask when you see him. Dude, the graphics are awesome, especially this remake. I'm, I'm telling you, man. get a PS5, man. That's the get thing I'm PS5 telling you. PS5 so we can sync up together. Like, I, 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 th this is actually making me want to rebuy this game now on PS5. You see? Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. And it's gory. My God, the blood armor being that realistic on the three or four. Oof, with the modified uh, pipe. Yeah. I was thinking for a bit, uh, metal pipe or bat? <laughs> I was thinking that for a second. Because like, you can only carry so many stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Alright, right, here's where you get the real personality of this Bill guy. Check this out. Supposedly, he's Joel's friend. What's up, Diggs? Thanks for stopping by. What's up? Get on your knees. Don't test me. Just take it easy. Any fights? No. Anything sprouting? Oh, God damn it! I'm clean. I see so. I mean, you can't blame us for his paranoia. Yeah. I love that part. Am I done? You come into my house. You set off all my traps. See. You damn near break my shooting arm. Who the fuck is this punk and what's she doing here? I am none of your goddamn business, and we're here because you owe Joel some favors. And oh. you can start by taking these off. I owe Joel some favor to some kind of joke. I'll cut to the chase. I need a car. Well, it is a joke. You know what? I hope Joel in this show they show a background of what happened to him be like before all this. Which I sure as hell don't uh, to this guy? What makes you think yeah. Give it to you? Huh? They got him. Yeah, yeah, sure, Joel. Go ahead. Yeah. Take my car. Take all my food too while you're at it. By the looks of it, you could lose some of that food. You listen to me. Whatever favors you think I owe you ain't worth that much. Actually, Bill, they are. Well, it don't matter because I don't have a car that works. But there is one in this town. Parts. There are parts in this town. Meaning that you could fix one up. It makes you wonder what these favors are, right? That he's talking about. Exactly. I hope the show explains that, because you, you, he practically risks his life to get you a car. So it must have been a huge favor. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, he's explaining that there was a there was a Fedra truck that hit a school, and it crashed into the school because it infected and ambushed it. So the car battery should be in that truck. That's where that's where they're gonna go right now to the school. Best stay right on my ass. Can't miss it. <laughs> and and that's that game trope, like items there, but you're gonna be faced with peril before getting this item. 
In every horror game, you don't go to a high school, a hospital, or a cemetery. Those are the three things you don't go in horror games. Like when it comes to zombies and ghosts. No, no, no. So that's the whole premise of this part. And I just love the interaction with that guy. He's, just, he's such a an ass. You know? yeah, for good reason. I'm... Yeah, and I hope the show explains that. And I mean, it's guys like him are the ones that end up surviving, right? That's like I said. Pretty much, man. It's like these guys, it's just they, it's sad to say, they only think about themselves and they pretty much survive. Yeah. It seems like in this world, if you care about someone, that leaves you open to uh, to die. Yeah, because they they, end, they they become a bit of a liability to you. I mean, exactly. Oh, and that's infected in one of his traps. Might be trouble in paradise. I hope I see him off some infected in in the show too, caught in his traps. Oh, they they got to put that in the show. Right? Yeah, I figured. That, that's part of his personality. Mm-hmm. And of course, I mean, his town, it's, he's only one man, so it's hard to clean up everything. I mean, the whole time, why on earth hadn't I thought about fixing one of these cars? Okay, don't be a dick. Their tires are rotted and their batteries are dead. Mm. You done? Can't even begin to think what the inside of the engine block looked like. Only when see. taking new yep. car batteries are the military. I forgot, you uh, start up quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now, like I said, it's hard to clean a town on your own. So imagine. It, it's even more difficult because it's like open. It's a, it's it's not like that narrow corridor situation. Yeah. They're coming from different directions. I bet he has to go to one side of the town one week, one side of the town another week, north, south, east, whatever, like every week in order to get it clean from marauders or infected. And that's a lot of work. I don't know why mm -hmm. he's even doing it in the first place. Wait, was that a clicker that you just uh, took down? Yep. Okay. Shot in the face, or if you call that a face. All right. He says something very important here. And it actually makes total sense. Even for The Walking Dead, this makes sense. Check what he says out here. Okay, what does he say? Right. You of all people should understand that. What does that mean? Let's see, that's a hint. Kind of gives you an insight of what what may have happened. But that's true, though. The infected are predictable. Humans are not. Yeah. No, no, for sure. Yeah. So it's like that's why he's alone. Hopefully, we find so out why in the show. Supposedly this is a bunker where he has all his weapons and stuff like that, so you got to get geared up to go to the high school. I got that stock up. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, comic dude? From hey, my, comic dude. From the comic kingpins. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for stopping by. Can you close the door? Damn, honestly, the, the upgrade on the visuals, I, I'm still can't get over. I still can't get over them. It's it's the lighting, man. The lighting, the particle yeah. effects, it's amazing. It's like I'm watching a movie. I mean, it looks better. Here it's kind of downgraded because uh, we're streaming it. But if you have right, uh, like right, a 4K right. TV, 120 hertz, it's like you're watching a show. For sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. Goes on record as the worst fucking job you've ever taken. It's up there. How in the hell is Tess okay with this suicide? So he talks about Tess. He doesn't even say that she passed away. Really? Well, the broad's not as smart as I thought she was. What? Fuck her. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> cool. he, he doesn't know, though. He doesn't know that she, she, she passed away. Yeah, yeah. Then send her packing. Let her find her own way. But let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about. This is backstory. Partner. Somebody I had to look after. And 
in this world, that sort of shit's good for one thing. Get you killed. You're going to find Dad, out. It's going to be... Why's the fuck up? Mm -hmm. I realize it's got to be just me. Bill, it ain't, it ain't like that. It's bullshit. It is just like that. And that's kind of his backstory a bit hey, and why he's like mm -hmm. that. What I said to you when we walked down the steps? What I say? I'm just fixing your stupid pile. Don't touch. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Even Joel looks tired. He's like, come on, man. Just give me my battery. Yeah, he, he looks I want to get out of here. Uh, I just want to cash in the favor, man. Just let it go. All right, before we go any further, I got something I got to show you. Oh, here's where you get the pump shotgun. This is like, man, this is the weapon I use the most. This is going to come pump. handy. Yes. The zombie repellent. Oh, and here's where you find out, like, one of his um, actual, I think they call it recipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, uh, like you have to go to, like, his workbench to do them, right? Mm-hmm. This is pretty much how you make grenades in the game. It's gunpowder, yeah, yeah. a tin can, and some shrapnel. Hopefully they show it in the game, too. So, then I... I assume they're out looking for supplies. I mean, oh, here's what it is. At the shit that they overlook. Anyway, a few months back. Yeah, you, you just gotta loot as much as you can because mm -hmm. you never know when you need these. Exactly. Yeah, make those shifts. We take that battery and we put it in another car. Bingo. I wanted See? to get it, but it seemed too dangerous with all the infected on that part of town. They just talked about the high school where the where a truck hit. A car. What if it's damaged? Nah, those trucks are like tanks. Mm -hmm. Just sitting there. And you figure it's been there for a few months and it hasn't been ransacked by anybody else. That would make me think, you know. Yeah, well, with all those damn traps that he keeps setting. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Joel, you are keeping an eye on her, right? Like a hawk. It's funny. I'm looking at his magazines. I'm like, what is that? And also, if you if you tap on the magazine with your shotgun, a centerfold pops out. Oh, really? Yeah, that's that's, that. that's that's how detailed it is, but I couldn't pull it off here, so you know I shouldn't probably should have stopped messing around. But it's right here. You you flip them and a page opens and there's like a centerfold on one of them. It's pretty funny. Uh, Alonzo is asking a very pressing question. Uh, kinda. It's a Playboy, but um, but for women. Yeah, I was like a, I was like a, a dude there with the with the six pack. But I couldn't pull off the centerfold, though. <laughs> nice place you got here. Yeah, look at the lighting. If you got anything to confess, this would be the place to do it. Wait, is this like a church or something or something? Yeah, yeah, he's at, this is where he sleeps. He sleeps in the chapel. Oh, okay. I, I completely wasn't aware that it was a church until yeah. like... Yeah. That's thing. A lot of these fragment. Yeah, okay. Not not exactly the the most cleanest living situation. I know, right? Each time I see beds in this game and they're abandoned, it's all dirty sheets and everything. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, I'm I'm just thinking like, what what kind of infected is living in those mattresses? I, not even that, like bed bugs. Like, ugh. Yeah. Come on. There's a high school right there that he needs to go to. That's that's the goal right there. Even looks scary from here. Listen, in this game, anytime you have to go into an unguarded building, yeah, I'm always on pins and needles. I know, man. It's it's just nah, I'm cool. <laughs> and also, um, they're gonna show that you pretty much they travel through like backyards and through gates in order to get to the high school. So you're they're pretty much like tra traversing from home to home. Mm-hmm. And you definitely want to be armed up. Yeah. There you go. See right there. And the thing is, you don't want to shiv all all these you know, clickers, otherwise you run out of resources. So. Yeah. You, 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 this is the thing. You kind of have to pick your battles. You, you like mm -hmm. you can't be that in that mindset that I need to clear out everything. Exactly. Yeah. 
That's right, K-pop. Playboys and comics always survive in the apocalypse. Yes, they yeah. do. They are a important part of survival. Uh, playboys and canned beans, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Roaches, playboys, the, the things that will probably hey, survive a nuclear blast. Entertainment, why not? Oh, here I just try to run through this because I'm not going to be too sneaky. It's, it just takes a long time. So yeah, at this point, yeah, just 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 gun it. As long as you don't hit a wall. You know what? I'm just going to ramble this. Forget about resources. I'm just going to cap them. This is where the, the this is where the shotgun comes in very yeah, handy. Yeah, baby. You don't have to worry too much about precision. I did a Resident Evil style there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Alonzo agrees. All right, now here's where you start going to people's yards and stuff, you know, trying to get to the shortcuts to the high school. See, this this part kind of unnerved me because I would think, okay, you would have looked at the other guy, but I guess Ellie's... Oh, no, not Ellie, the other guy, Bill. Yeah, and Bill, he, he helps you out. So he's a pretty good AI, man. Bill actually shoots the kill. He's not like the dumb AI that shoots at a wall, mm. you know what I'm saying? So I do like the AI in this game. Actually, Naughty Dog in general has has awesome AI, even in Uncharted. I was amazing. gonna say that, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You don't have to waste all your bullets. Exactly. And you just get how run down everything is. Like all the oh, like overgrowth of plant life is like nobody lives here really, you know. And plus, this place is swarming with clickers, man. Clickers and runners. Yeah, you actually before... go. Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say before this, I thought that clickers were only like in the dark. It's only in this level you realize they're they're also out out and about in daylight yeah. as well. And I remember I said before how like everything's scary at, at night only. Even during the day, seeing something like this is kind of odd. It's still scary even though the sun's out, kind of mm -hmm. thing, you know. Even the noises they make, they're like everywhere. So I'm, I'm like looking 360 all around, you know, seeing if I'm going to get attacked by something. It's funny. You just, you did this right now. I was, I was going to make the comment that I noticed that you don't really use your sonar as much in this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to play professional mode, okay. but you know what? I need to use that tool. I need to use those daredevil, what's it called? Senses. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, if you could stealth kill them, might as well to save your bullets, ammo, mm -hmm. whatever. And actually, you could go into those homes that you see to the right and get some resources. But just for the sake of time, I just ran through this. Okay, gotcha. See, and here's a part where you actually go into a home. But yeah. it's tied on the other side. What about going through here? What the doggy door? See, she's useful. Be very careful. Of course. Maybe you should have given her a gun. Okay, Bill. You see, for a while she asked for a weapon, but Joel's like, "No, nah, I'm not giving you a weapon." He just doesn't yeah, trust just, her with it. She's just, just like young. in episode two. Mm -hmm, exactly. I ain't seen this yet. Just stay down. Careful. All right, here's you actually go inside a home where there's infected. Bunch of clickers that I think they sleep when they're standing like that. I guess they're sleeping, right? That's the most obvious thing. Mm. Yeah, dormant. Dormant. Yeah. Yeah, because they're barely, they're hardly moving at all. Yeah, it almost sometimes you don't even realize they're there. To be honest. Yeah. Because they kind of blend in with the furniture. And the thing is, like, you don't know what's their nap time. You know, when do they wake up or internal mm -hmm. clock or whatever? You know. So, and I hate it when they do this. Like, uh, for example, you're going to see here, there's a clicker right there and there's shotgun ammo right in front of it. It's like, come on, man. It's like. So it's almost like to get to that, you kind of have to. Touch the thing, around. right? Yeah. And the thing is, like, it doesn't show an icon to touch the shotgun. So I'm like, should I use a shiv? Oh, so you can't even reach for it, even if you. No. Yeah. So, so, so there's no way around it, but going through. Like, you so really like, have to tiptoe. It's like, you know what? Like, is it worth it? Yeah, it's worth it. <laughs> I'll just shiver. It is a shotgun, so. But in the end, I have full ammo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so put it this way. At, at least that shotgun can take care of at least three clickers right now. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And also just grab them resources, man. Grab them resources. I like how you got to, you know, traverse through like on top of cars on a, like that's a tree house right there. Mm -hmm. That's like part of the path to get there, which is funny to me. I mean, you're going through things that has been used by the previous owners that are now maybe long gone or dead. You know, this is kind of crazy to me. Yeah. It's like you jerry rig these things that, you know, wouldn't have been considered traps before. Right, right. And the thing is, I always do is that um, if I see a full resource on the table and uh, and I'm full in my backpack, I create something to make space. I always do. Smart. That. Yeah. Smart. Because mm. I hate just leaving a full thing on the table and later I'm going to use it. Yeah. Nope. I'm good. We're all fine. Let's just keep going. Damn, Bill's all paranoid. Like anybody bitten? He's all <laughs> paranoid. That goes to show, you know, like he's been around. And he doesn't know about Ellie's thing, right? No, he doesn't. Otherwise, he probably would have killed her on the spot. He's so paranoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a hand with this. Arrows for the win. I'll keep my pipe. I was like, I don't want that bad. Mm, yeah, metal beats wood any day. Any day. <laughs> right? It's just common sense. All right, here's the high school. What I tell you? There's that truck. This, they're, they're swarming. They must be like the parents of the students or something, man. It's just so many runners here. Yeah. <laughs> they must have a parent meeting and just wrong place at the wrong time. And it sucks here because um, a tip, if you're going to play this part of the game, it doesn't matter how sneaky you are. You pass a part of the level and it calls out all the infected. I'll show you where it doesn't matter how sneaky you are. It's just like game. one alerts the others. You'll, you'll see right here. It's like, it's like a, um, like a programmer did a tripwire. You can't see if that oh, makes okay, sense. Okay. You, you'll see here. Watch. Hold on. Oh, bow and arrow time. Nice shot. Yeah. Bow is only for like stealth, not for one-to-one -one combat when they know you're there. Mm-hmm. Here's a part right here, right by this bush to the right. Let me get this guy. And I think uh, one guy is going to be popping out here in a second. I think. I think I see like a shadow. I should use my daredevil senses, but I was just such in a hurry. I was like, yeah, like I said, I would have been using it like five times at this point. Like you're, you're really <laughs> gunning <laughs> right here. Once you pass this bush, it doesn't matter how quiet you are. It calls all the infected. It's right here. You hear that sound? Oh, okay. So, so yeah, there's no way around it. No. And in parts of the game, it's like that. It's like a tripwire, which you can't avoid. You have to confront all the infected. Yeah. Oh, gosh. At this point, just find a safe corner and just, you know, hunker down and just exactly go to town with a shotgun so this game it teaches you to no matter how quiet you are you have to confront the enemy once you know one way or another yeah because i know there's certain games like metal gear assault you can go an entire oh. level without making contact and you get a better score yeah that's what i was doing man i was running with my shotgun well, let's not test our luck well, he's he's digital. He can't die. He's an MPI. I mean, <laughs> he's an AI. <laughs> <laughs> he's an AI. If he had life, yes, I'd be saving his ass. But in this case, he has unlimited health. He's fine. He could take care of himself. It's too bad they didn't make this like a co-op experience, though. Now that uh, you they, think about it, you know what? That's an excellent idea. They do have the multiplayer, but that's going to come out soon. Actually, the uh, whole multiplayer, new multiplayer, which I would love to play. Oh, really? Yeah, they are, man. If you can take care of himself. Yeah, it's Bill. And Ellie, pff, it's not mine. She's not mine. <laughs> Although she, she's the key to what you need. And she can't get infected, but she can get her head kicked in, though. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you still got to protect her. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware that you like that. there's a new DLC, I mean, a new multiplayer mode coming up. 
Yeah, there is, man. Uh, they've been working on it ever since they made part two. So it's, it says very ambitious. And if it's for um, PlayStation as a whole, dude, we'll get together and play it. We could probably uh, record oh, yeah, something for sure. if you want. For sure. Ah, oh, Left 4 Dead. Classic zombie game. Hell yeah. I still have that That's on one PC. of my favorites. Me too. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. Oh, hell yeah. You guys want to get together? I'm down to play that. You have it on PC as well? Yeah. I have PC and Xbox. But for sure. Okay. I got on Steam. See, the enemies are relentless in this level, so I hope the show is like that. I want to see a lot of infected, a lot of shooting, gore, you know. Yeah. Okay, I definitely got to add you and K-pop on my Steam friend list. Yeah, for sure. Dude, Joel almost gets bit so many times. I'm surprised he's still alive after part one. It's a... Uh... It's, it's that classic TV trope, right? Hero yeah. always comes this close. Yeah. Grab this. You see, now he's looking to the car for the car battery. Right now. It's empty. What? Fucking empty. Of course it is. Right? He doesn't know what to do. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> he has no plan B. Here's where it gets hectic, man. Inside the school? You know what? I was like, I'm not even going to sneak by this. There's yeah, so th many enemies. Th this is not the kind of environment I, I signed up for. No, I, I, like, I, I like the daylight better. And abandoned schools freak me out. I don't know why, dude. It's like it freaks yeah. me out. Look at all this open corridor. You're right. He has like a, a, an upgrade called thick skin where they can't bite through. Man, I, I wouldn't put it past me, dude. So it's like a rhino. Dude, and the clickers, like, they can't even see, so they start waving their hands around. See, look, it starts waving its hands. It can't even see you. It's waiting to hit you. That's what makes it look so creepy. It looks so yeah. grabby, you know? Like, they want to grab at you. That's what makes them so... Ugh. Yeah, that's a high school, Alonzo. Yeah, it's a high school. I mean, they, they're trying to get their higher learning up in here. I'll be honest. This looks this actually looks a, little, uh, a bit better than my high school. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? None of them did their work. Look at them. They are in detention. Uh, I think that's the first time I've seen you use a Molotov. Yeah, I tried to close off that entrance. But, I mean, it worked. It, the clicker was still alive. I was surprised. It gets to the point that I'm like, when does this end, man? It's like all these enemies. I tried to throw a grenade, it did not work. The grenade was like a dud. No. And the lack of light also kind of kills me. I know. You know what? I should have turned on my flashlight, but I was like kind of hurt. I tried to do like a run through. All right, we're almost there. All right. Now, here's when they open this door, you're going to meet the new enemy type, which I, I believe will be in the show. Oh, okay, so we're going to get some exclusive. Exclusive enemy types. You, you saw it here first. This gonna hold for long. And they got to introduce this. They, they got to. They have to. It's what almost like a house level. Dude, it looks like Stranger Things. Yeah, it's, it's like a. A souped up demi gorgon. I don't know what whatever. <laughs> demi gorgon. And the thing is, this thing is kind of gross because it takes stuff off its body and it throws it at you. Yeah, it, 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 it literally feels like a boss battle right now. Because mm. you still gotta contend with these infected at the same time. Exactly. So this thing tear, takes spores off its body and throws it at you like a grenade. It's kind of gross. And as you can tell, like uh, you're gonna take, a, you're gonna need a lot more than a few shots to take it down. Yeah, it has really thick skin. Even with the Molotov, it's still, it's still walking, man. Look at that thing. It's like the T1000 of a uh, clicker. <laughs> I know, right? And the thing is, if this thing gets its hands on you, you're dead. You can't. Oh see yeah, it. yeah. 
There you go. Good. Mm. God, thing is ugly. It's like refried beans walking. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See. It's been infected for a long time. We call him Glenn 2K, your highness. Okay, got it. Glenn Glenn, what's up? Thank you for stopping by. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. It's been an exciting day here in the life of Joel. I, I like how Ellie shoves him in the rear to push him up. It's like as if... I know, right? Hey, Glenn, it's all good, man. You can come in at any time. I know no you worries. got your coordination. I just hope you have the TiVo on to record all this. You know? Hey, is that thing still crawling on the floor? <laughs> yeah, it's missing its its waist. <laughs> now that's like, uh, what's it called? All right, you got him. Let's go. Walking Hold dead it. material right there. Hold up, are those the bleachers? Yeah. yeah. They're, ha they're yeah, halfway I, closed. I, I like that attention to detail. Right? It's kind of cool, huh? It adds to the uh, obstacles in the environment. This way. Ah, finally, sunlight. I know. Probably stinks in that high school. Hey, thanks, Glenn. We love playing them and recording. Trust me. Be shaking. You see, here's what I said that like um they can climb ladders because he kicks it over. You see. Otherwise, he wouldn't have kicked it over if they couldn't climb in the first place. Oh, All right. Okay. Good observation. Mm-hmm. Now here's something very pivotal. Here's where you see Frank. We see him in the preview of the episode, and here's where you see him now. I think Frank is his, is his boyfriend or partner. That was plan A, B, C, all the way to fucking Z. And furthermore, tell Tess that she can take this job. Don't you shove it right up the Oh, PS5 is awesome, man. Jesus. What, you know this guy or something? Frank. See, that's Frank, and you that's see him Frank. alive. Mm -hmm. He was my partner. See. And he's the only idiot that would wear a shirt like that. See, I think it's his boyfriend. It or, is. Uh, it, it is, uh, right? Yeah, because there, there's a little bit of subtle hints, like the he's fact that those life. those Playgirl magazines and... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Like Again, this is a, a good example of not beating your head over it. But it's just like it's it's kind of there. Good point. It's like it's there's subtle and it's in you know it's like it's it's normal. It's just it's like in everyday yeah. life. It's implied. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, fucking. Oh, what do what does Ellie find? Look what I found. Funny thing is that Frank stole the battery. <laughs> that's my battery. Yeah. You yeah. See? Fucking hell. Damn, that's a that's a vehicle that's in very good shape, especially like in in that type of world right now, mm -hmm. the state of world. Cells are alive, meaning meaning we push it, get it started, and the alternator will recharge the battery. Is that your guess? Ooh, Spider-Man: God of War, two excellent games. I just beat God of War two. It's an awesome game. I still gotta finish God of War one. No, 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 no not the PS3 God of War one. I'm talking about the, the 2000, 2018 God of War. Yeah, I gotta finish that okay. one. Yeah, old games. I mean, you mean like retro games or backlog games? Yeah, my my, my Steam catalog is building up. Oh, oh my goodness! I buy I buy stuff on sale. I don't even touch them. Yeah, I should be playing my backlog to be honest. Well, this is part of my backlog. <laughs> ah, again, we're back in the dark. Now this is now that's Frank right there. Now you go, we're going to find a note. And I think this is very important to the show too. You're gonna to see this. Note Wait, hold right up! Here. Wasn't Frank hanging? Yeah, he cut him. He cut him down. Oh, okay. See if you read this. Pretty much, Frank hates his guts, and he wants to leave the town. He rather died instead of being with Bill. That's what that note says. So there you go. So this thing, it's these little nuggets of storylines that you kind of pick mm -hmm. up on. And you show him the letter. And he even gets more like 
pissed off and heartbroken. I figured you should have it. I, I know they're going to touch on that on the show. Fuck me too, right? Let's see. Fucking idiot. Also, you ready to go? if you guys want an easy trophy, go pick up the letter that he that he crumbled. And it's an easy trophy. It's called Memorandum or something. Okay, I wasn't even aware you could still pick it up. I'll show you right now. Not a problem. You're doing a good job. I figured you should know that. Oh, that's the first positive affirmation. Exactly. Because she's always on her saying that, you know, don't do this, don't do that, no guns. And yeah, if you go pick up that crumpled note, you get an easy trophy. I already got it, but just a heads up if you want to platinum the game. Well, wait. In this Epic game, game. Don't, don't you have to do a second playthrough to even get the trophies? Uh, yes. Yes, you do. Because you need to beat it on certain difficulties, I think. Yeah. I know I am. Ooh, Epic Games. Oh, like Fortnite, right? I, th I think I saw Fortnite up in there. Mm -hmm. I, guess I have a few stuff from the Epic Games because they were giving out from some free stuff also. Yeah, gaming last year is not going to be as busy. It was not as busy as this year. That is wait, true. What, what, what's happening here? Okay. Oh, you're... You're gonna push start the truck. Okay, like I said, a lot of the stuff uh, it, I'm revisiting stuff that I played almost like a decade ago. It feels fresh, man. The graphics yeah. too. Fortnite, man. Everyone loves Fortnite. Oh, <laughs> time for guns. Yes, it is. Oh, you're right. There are free games if you have an epic epic account. I do. I never use it, but I should pick up those free games. Oh, yeah, that's right. Evil Dead. Yes, that is correct. It's only a multiplayer game, right? That'd be cool to play. I'm an Evil Dead fan, so I don't know why I don't have it still. So right now, they're trying to jumpstart the truck. Meanwhile, you got to push it, and then all this infected is and coming then contend with you. these things. Yeah, man. It's like, it's like you can't catch a break. You know, you're trying to do a simple chore, and this infected is just running up on you. And then sometimes you think, okay, we'll let, let Bill handle it. You know, save your ammo. And that's the there's always books. A, a clicker here and there. Just yeah, to spice they, things up. Exactly, they they throw in the mix. I have some of those uh, comic Fortnite comics too, the DC Cross Fortnite. I have yep. those. Actually, thanks to Robert, he gave me a few. It gives you those exclusive codes. Yeah. You see, dude? Bill just, he's a badass. He has a machete. All right, Ellie, get ready. All right, Ellie, start it up. Oh, man. Army of Darkness was a perfect mix of comedy and horror. Mm -hmm. Well, it was more comedy action, but I loved it, man. I, I mean, this is my boomstick. You can't beat that. I still use that phrase once in a while. Oh, Lego Skywalker Saga. That one's huge. I have that in my backlog as well. Uh, you guys are making me go back to my backlog and play all this stuff again. <laughs> I know, right? Yes, I do. They have some nice skins on there. It's only you get it from the book. Just keep it running, all right? Yeah, those are awesome, man. Those those crossovers. You gotta admit, she did hold her own back there. <laughs> you ain't gonna make it. Well, God, he's so pretty. negative. Oh, oh, I know he's pretty. so. He's like a friend, like a friend of me almost. You yeah. know, I don't know. What's this? You'd be amazed at how many cars still got gas in them. <laughs> right. Good luck. Got your buddy back there. Uh, that's a tough deal. Oh, if you grab the Spidey ones, please post it on Instagram. I want to see those, please. Get the fuck out of my town. That was a Which nice means? goodbye. Yeah, he says. Um, he says, you know what? I owe you no more favors, right? And he goes, no. All right, get the f out. I don't want to see you no more. Yeah, because at this point we're even. Well, they're yeah. even. I mean. So that's the end of Bill's part, but this uh, car, this car scene is is epic. From now to what's going to happen, I think it's epic. Check it out. Oh, man. Hey, what 
happened to sleep in? Okay. I know it doesn't look like it. She reads comic books. It's not a bad read. Only one problem. Right there. To be continued. I love that. Hey, cliffhangers. Where did you get that? Uh, back at Bill's. I mean, all this stuff was just lying there. What else did you get? All right, I remember this line. Yeah. This part. Check out what yeah. she gets. Woo! Here. This make you all nostalgic? Oh, not that part, but yeah. Before my time? <laughs> that is a winner, though. There is a cool soundtrack where the game ends with that, with that tape. Oh, man. Well, better than nothing. Uh, is this what she's going to pull out that I'm thinking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll be missing this tonight. Hey, K-pop, check this out. This is the Survivor Light magazine. Game, but it's got some interesting photos. Now, Ellie, that ain't for kids. Whoa! How, how the hell would he even walk around with that thing? Get rid of that. <laughs> Where's your horses? I want to see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> oh. Why are these all stuck together? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Joe was like, oh, how do I explain that? Yeah. Yeah, it's you, actually. yeah, we're going to be doing Pong. We're going to be doing Pong after this. Atari Pong. <laughs> no, we are, though. We are planning to do more, more gameplay shows for sure. I'm not even tired. <laughs> I know, right, Alonzo? This part is cool. Listen to the soundtrack and everything that happens right now with the soundtrack in the background, if you could hear it. Oh, perfect. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. We're almost there. Screw it. You see, he's, he's taking a more dangerous path because he can't even go through the traffic, but this is what happens. All this moss covered buildings. Let's see if you remember this part, Hyper. Easy. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Put your seatbelt on, Ellie. Well, what about the guy? He ain't even hurt. <laughs> yeah. Joe no knows the deal. He's been one of them. Oh, you mean like on that side? Yeah. What was it alluded to that? And that's it. That's that. We're I end bet on that you cliffhanger. anything that the show is going to end them hitting the town of the uh, of the marauders or the, the hunters. But wait, so. so so you're saying that it's been again exactly, I, I, Apollo. This guy, I mean, he's definitely street smart. He's been one of those guys. He mentioned he's going to mention that in the next episode. But yes, so he knows. Okay, so I wasn't sure. Him. Like again, like I said, it's been. Sorry. Oh, you're no. Um, I was saying it's been almost a decade since I played that game. So I kind of there's certain parts I have to revisit to kind of refresh my memory. Yeah. So, and this level, this next level, it's full of enemies and you have to use your resources and be extremely careful. I hope that after this episode, the fourth episode goes into this town of the hunters and marauders. It's crazy. They meet more, uh, more characters in, in that world and it just goes nuts after this. So, um, so the gameplay that I just showed you, I know episode three is going to touch on a lot of these subjects and I hope the episode starts a little prequel on what Bill's life is. He meets Frank. I mean, when I saw the preview, Frank was alive. And mm -hmm. I want to know who this Frank guy is and why he loves him so much. So it'll be cool to see that. And the thing is, uh, you know, you know how uh, Bill mentioned, like, you know, clickers are predictable, like, but humans are not. So mm -hmm. in the game, I do remember the human AI were a bit more difficult than the than the actual infected. Yeah. As ironic as that sounds. Yeah. No. Exactly. So, I mean, so that's pretty much that's episode three. I hope you you know you watched it. You enjoyed it and let's see how the hbo show starts off and how it relates to it so that's a uh, pretty much it we'll, we're actually we hit our time so let me yeah. check on the comments very quick uh star wars game in march oh you're talking about um star wars the new one it's uh from fallen order right 
that's definitely a good one. I, I, I beat Fallen Order. This one's called something else, right? But yeah, I'm definitely playing that one. And I'll actually stream that one. That'll be cool to stream, actually. Very, very, I have very Fallen Order. Well, I have Fallen Order, but I don't think I've beat it yet. No. It's good, but it's a lot of, uh, how do you say, pairing and stuff like that. You, it's, it's all about timing. That's true. See, I wish he would have shot outside his window. <laughs> I know, right? I know, but he just ran that guy over so hard. Are you going to see what happens next? I'll play a... I'll play the game, the gameplay of that, uh, of that Hunter City, after we see the the this show from HBO. So mm-hmm. I'll definitely play that part. Long forward to Sunday. Very true. So, Very Sunday true. can't come soon enough. To be yeah. yeah. Exactly. My favorite Star Wars game. Yes, it is because it kind of reaches in that Soulsborne type of game, like uh, you know, like um, like what's it called, uh, Dark Souls or uh, Bloodborne. It kind of mm. treads in, in that gameplay. So yeah, I love that. Yeah, thank you. So um, that's a pretty Thanks much so it. Long, so yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. We'll definitely do another show. And um, please leave your comments, questions below. And also, if you want us to play anything else on this show, please let us know. And also, uh, stay tuned because uh, Long Story Short is coming up next. Don't miss that. You're going to have an awesome segment on that as well. So, And um, also, remember, Use code Nirvana14 for three days of a limited cover price for only 99 cents. You can't beat that. And also use code TNH10 for 10% off your purchase over at Bird City Comics. So that's uh that's pretty much it. Oh, Elden Ring. I platinumed it. Ah, I platinumed it. I can show you my trophy. I, I still love haven't, Elden you know what? I I haven't bought that game because I know that that's, that's just gonna be a wormhole I'm gonna get sucked into awesome game i had a platinum in and it's i hope i'm waiting for that dlc though so i'll definitely stream that as well nice nice hey oh uh also don't uh, i guess uh, i don't know if schedule has changed but are we doing um the review for episode uh three on monday yes we are okay yes. we are all right. yeah let's do that all right so uh, once again thanks for, mo- for watching and uh yeah peace out later guys